What could happen if a nuclear attack is launched on our precious planet? The single push of a red button will unleash unimaginable devastation and suffering. Let's try to picture what the effect of a modern-day nuclear attack may look like. Imagine a nuclear bomb hits in the heart of a large city. It is likely that about 220,000 people will die and another 450,000 will sustain injuries from this single attack. On impact there will be a bright flash of light and a mushroom cloud. This fireball radius will extend out for about 0.65 square kilometers. On the outside edge of the fireball radius, in about a 3 square kilometers zone, people can expect to face the heaviest dose of radiation. Without medical treatment, between 50% and 90% of people in this area will die from acute effects alone. Dying takes between several hours and several weeks. People ill with radiation experience nausea and vomiting, diarrhea and spontaneous bleeding. They suffer from a severely burnt skin that may peel off. Outside of this extreme radiation zone, in a 44 square kilometers area, a shock wave will flatten residential buildings, resulting in more deaths. There will be fire and debris everywhere. Outside of this shock wave zone, in about an 87 square kilometers area, people will have third degree burns from the bright flash of light that was created when the bomb went off. Victims may not feel much pain because their pain nerves will be destroyed. People may suffer from scarring, or may not be able to use certain limbs. Some may require amputations. Exposure to this light will stretch for miles. The light will also easily ignite objects like leaves, twigs, paper, or even clothing, causing fires. The biggest circle encompasses the near entirety of the air blast. In this zone of about 347 square kilometers, the blast will break windows. Those standing near the glass may receive severe injuries, or even be killed by shards. And those who survive the bombing? They will have to find safety, facing burning rubble and lifeless charred bodies. Many of the survivors will eventually succumb to sustained injuries, or radiation. Meanwhile, the wind will carry irradiated debris and objects far outside the blast zone, and sicken countless others. When all this is over, the city needs to be restored. To rebuild and completely rid the city of radiation will probably take decades, and of course billions of dollars. And all this devastation is caused by only one bomb. An actual nuclear war would involve multiple bombs and have much wider and more devastating consequences. The effects after, a nuclear war would be much worse than we can imagine. Hopefully, all world leaders and those in positions of authority will refrain from pushing those red buttons.